Hey guys, it's Mr. Chase again. Back for more uh, videos about angles and angle relationships. Don't forget when you're watching one of my videos, stay active while doing it, okay? Pause or stop it so you can take your notes, make a vocab list, do something good like that. And sometimes, again, watch it a second time if you need to, all right? So today, I will know how to use algebra with parallel lines in a transversal. So this is a piggyback of um, my last video, which was just about parallel lines and angles, parallel lines in the transversal. But now we're going to be using algebra with it. So before we do that algebra, I just want to go over the vocab again that we've touched on. Right? We've already talked about supplementary angles, angles that add up to 180. And then we started to make these pairs of equal angles, vertical angles, corresponding angles. We have AIA, alternate interior angles, and AEA, alternate exterior angles. Okay? And remembering these two groups is going to help us today with our equation writing. Because our equations are either going to be equal to 180 degrees or equal to each other. Pairs of equal angles end up being equal to each other. And we'll see in the picture how we write an equation for that. Find the missing angles from the picture. So you should be familiar with this picture from my last video. And we filled in some angle measurements, like if angle 5 was 100, we would fill, be able to fill in the rest of these angles. They'd be either 80 or 100. And, um, and we'd be able to give a reason why. But this time, we're given two angles that are algebraic expressions. Okay, So I'm going to go ahead and write in that angle 1 is 3x plus 40, and angle 3 is 7x. Okay, so I wrote in my angle measurements. Now I need to ask myself, what type of angles are those? They make what type of pair? Well, if they're supplementary, I'm going to add them together and make them equal 180. Or if they fit into one of those equal pairs, if they're vertical or corresponding, if they're AIA or AEA, then I'm going to write an equal equation, okay? an equation where the two angles equal each other. So in this case, angle 1 and angle 3, because they have the same placement in the picture, they are actually corresponding angles. So my equation will say 3x plus 40 equals 70. Okay? Again, the picture is telling me how I should write my equation because of where this stuff is. Right? Now I'm going to keep solving. Subtract 3x on both sides. Okay? I see that should have been, instead of a 70, that should have been a 7x. Good, I hope you uh, didn't write 70. Sorry about that. And let's subtract. So that's 40 is equal to 4x, divide by 4, x is 10. Now, that doesn't get me to my answer. That only gets me part of the way. Find the missing angles. So if I go into this angle, 3 times 10 plus 40, that means angle 1 is going to be 70 degrees. Okay? Could check it here too. 7 times 10 is going to be 70 degrees. Okay, let's fill in the rest. Um, angle 6 is vertical to angle 1, so that must also be a 70. And there's going to be one more 70 degree angle. Um, it's going to be angle 8 because it's alternate exterior with the first angle that we found, angle 1. Okay, let's fill in the rest. Angle 5, that's got to be supplementary, so it's got to be 110. Angle 2 is 110. Okay, it's vertical to 5. Angle 4, just making sure I have this right. Yep, it is 110 as well. And angle 7, it's got to be 110. Okay, so then we used algebra and solving to find my x and then find the rest of the angles in the picture. Okay, again, the picture told me what type of equation to write, okay, because it was a 1 and 3 corresponding angles that told me what type of equation to make, okay? All right, so same picture, all right, same angles, same, in, the same, in the same place. Let's look at what they gave us. The measure of angle 4 is 5x minus 12, okay? And the measure of angle 5 
Where's 5? It's up here. It is 3x plus 18. Okay, so now I'm going to write my equation. Let's look. 4 and 5, those are alternate exterior angles. And alternate exterior angles are equal to each other. So I still have an equal to equation. 3x plus 18 equals 5x minus 12. Again, alternate exterior angles. And let's do some solving. I'm going to bring the... Um, I'm going to bring the 3x first. So 18 is equal to only 2x minus 12. Add the 12. Okay, pause the video if you want to do this stuff on your own and just jump right to the answer. 30 is equal to 2x. That means x is 15. All right, x is 15. Only part, part of the way there. Let's go down here. If 5 times 15 minus 12, if that's going to be angle 4, well, that's 75. 75 minus 10 would be 65. 65 minus 2 more, that means it's going to be 63 degrees, okay? Sorry about that. Let me come back. It's going to be 60, 63 degrees. So let's fill in the rest, okay? Who else is 63? Angle 5 is, okay, angle 7 needs to be, and angle 2 needs to be, okay, all those relationships, okay, 180 minus the 63, that's going to be 117, all the others are going to be 117, okay. Now, I know the picture doesn't look that way, right? This looks like it's an obtuse angle. Don't go by what the picture says, okay? I think we did the algebra right. We got x is equal to 15, went back and solved, and uh, that works for me, okay? All right? Let's see if we go to the next one. Okay. Parallel lines cut by a transversal. Find the measurements of angles 1 through 8 if measure 8 is 8x. And the measure of angle 4 is 6x plus 54. So let's go to where are 8 and 4? Okay, 8 and 4. So that placement means they make, they make that half circle. It means they're supplementary, all right? So our equation changes because of the types of angles that they are. They're equal to 180. And let's fill this stuff in. 8 x is for angle 8, 6x plus 54 for angle 4, and let's do that solving. 14x plus 54 is equal to 180. Subtract 54. Okay, 14x equals, well if it was just 50, it would be down to 130. So I need to go 4 lower than that. So 126. And let's see. 126 divided by 14. Um, if I do it 7 times, that's not going to be enough. Looks like it might be 9 times. Let's multiply 6, carry 3. 9 times 1 is 9, plus 3 more is 12. Got that right. x equals 9. All right. Still trying to find all of the measurements, though. So if x is 9, 8 times 9 is going to make angle 8 72 degrees. Okay? Who else is 72? Angle 3 is going to be 72. They're vertical. Angle 6 is going to be 72. They are alternate interior. Angle 1 is going to be 72, okay? because that is also vertical to angle 6. And the rest of them got to be 108, supplementary to each other, 108 degrees for everybody else. I could check that by putting in right here 9, okay, 54, for 6 times 9, 54 plus another 54, that is 100. Okay, so we used algebra, we used a little bit different equation, it's going to be equal to 180 this time, okay, look out for where the 
angles are in the picture, and that should tell you what type of equation to write. Okay? All right, here's your ticket in the door for next time. All right? Use the picture below for all of them, right? What type of equation would you write? An equal equation, or would you write an equation that was, um, you, know, uh, you know, equal to each other or equal to 180? If you were given 2 and 5, okay? If you were given 1 and 3, if you were given 1 and 5. And then I have a problem here for you. Find the measure of angles 1 through 8. If you're given 5 is 3x plus 10, and 4 is 4x minus 20, okay? Think about the equation you have to write for that and try to get all the rest of the ang uh, angles there, okay? Don't forget, thanks for watching, but if you are watching, make sure that you uh, listen, not just hearing it, right? Actively participate, do something, okay? Certainly pause and stop the video when you need to and watch it multiple times, all right? Thanks so much, have a great day.